Hi friends, Marin with Engine Mobile. Pretty excited today because we're taking a look at the HTC One X. Quad-core smartphone, beautiful device, and quite honestly, probably one of the best smartphones that we'll see in 2012. So let's take a quick tour. You have this big, beautiful 4.7-inch screen, 720p resolution, slightly curved as you can tell. Nothing too dramatic, but it's nice and subtle. Big, beautiful, responsive, works well. You have this large speaker on top. You have the front-facing camera as well, HTC branding. These are the Android buttons, back, home, and this is a multitask button because this is Android Ice Cream Sandwich. This version of the software doesn't necessarily need physical buttons on the device. HTC decided to put them anyway, and uh, I'm okay with that. Some of you may prefer just full screen space there, but whatever. On this side, you have the one-piece volume rocker. Works well. Power unlock, micro SIM slot there because if you notice it's an integrated battery just one piece construction so you can't remove it which makes it lighter and thinner but some of you may not like that you can't get get at your battery easily standard headphone jack mic micro usb port mic you notice it's very slim and um, sleek a lot of nice curves on it and this backing is a machine precision polycarbonate with a piano gloss finish they're trying to make it feel look and feel like piano keys and it's you know while that may sound weird it it really works this is a beautiful looking device feels good in the hand it's light it's thin and it's it's still solid so some of you may prefer that iPhone feeling but that thing's fragile as an egg and you know some of the Samsung devices are light thin and beautiful but some of you still feel still may think that it feels flimsy I think this is the perfect compromise between it because it's 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 light sexy it feels great in the hand but it's still durable on the back you have this speaker here this obviously has the beats audio in there for the sound or for improved sound quality HTC branding and this 8 megapixel camera with the flash we're gonna get into that in a separate video but this one has an amazing camera it's just well done from the software to the image sensor to everything so one of the big appealing features about this device is that it has a quad-core processor from Tegra 3 or from NVIDIA with the Tegra 3. This will be available on the international version. The version coming to AT&T will have a dual-core processor from Qualcomm, but let's see what this can do. This is Quadrant be uh, oops, benchmarking app. Basically it just tells you how powerful your device is. And we're just going to watch that run, see how it performs. While we're waiting, this phone also has gig of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, you have NFC, you have Wi-Fi, the ability for Wi-Fi direct, gyro sensors, you know, digital compass, ambient light sensors, everything you'd expect from a high-end smartphone, which this definitely is. And it's at the top of my list for smartphones now. eighteen hundred milliamp battery I found the battery life pretty good the charging time little slow nothing dramatically bad but I did notice that it takes a little bit longer All right. so there you go just blows away the Galaxy Tab and the Galaxy Nexus which was released just a few months ago and is supposed to be top of the line but whatever benchmarks you know they mean something but what does that mean for you Nothing really. What you should know is that the Tegra 3 in the One X provides you silky smooth, just app switching, app launching, which has always been kind of a complaint in Android is that there's this little lag between your touch and what happens. And of course there's gaming. This is my latest obsession as I'm sure many of you are also doing. 10 million downloads, 3 days, not, not too shabby. So yes, it does play Angry Birds. Right. So it plays Angry Birds, but then 
there are also games for in the Tegra Zone that are specifically optimized for this chip, and they turn out they turn out really beautiful. This is Riptide. Let's show it off. When Nvidia talks about the Tegra 3 chip, you know they like to say console quality graphics, and you know you like to think, oh yeah, that's just marketing speak, but like. Look at this, look at this game. This is, this is on a phone. It looks, it does look really good. And you know, it's, it's what you would expect from some of your, your games at home. Up until a few years ago, or even, even now. Yeah. So that's a quick look at the HTC One X and the hardware. Thanks for watching, we'll have a lot more for you.